how do you know whether you can do business or you can't? You know, that question is a very essential question because if you know the answer to that question, it will be very simple for you to make a proper decision when it comes to saving your money or to investing your money in business. Number one, what I should let you know is that whenever you feel like the urge of making money bypasses the fear of losing the money, that tells you that you're very fit for the business or the business world is better for you. But when you feel like you're much reserved, before you make a decision when it comes to money or investment, you inquire a lot. You always to people and asking them like, how much can you, or rather, how, how can I invest 100K? How can I invest 10K? How can I invest 1 million? The moment you realize that this kind of a guy who can dish him, himself or themselves into the action without rather consideration of what people think or something, so that should let you know that you are for business. Because a lot of people tend to be like, I'm really afraid, I don't want to lose this, my 100,000 Kenyan shillings that I have saved. Or I um, just have like, you know, 300k and I don't want to lose this money. So whenever you feel like the urge of losing money is really much more compared to the love of making money or that urge of making money, then you should let yourself know that you are not good for business. What should I do? The moment you feel like you're this kind of a guy who can take risk, obviously a calculated risk, then you're good for business. Let me tell you one secret. About the entrepreneurial business, it's all about risking. It's all about being crazy. It's all about thinking something that people really think about it, right? For instance, when I get something small with my fellow guys whom I work with, they always, some, some of them are hesitant. They hesitate to make a decision when it comes to money. Last time I was telling them, I was thinking of, you know, setting a loan, you know, kind of lending business. I lend people money whom we work with because I realized one thing. These people run out of money very shortly. So I was like, if I can capitalize on this, like these fellow guys whom I work with, I can maybe loaning them, maybe let's say on Monday or let's say Tuesday, I loan them amount of money. By Saturday, they give me a certain amount of money, of course, with an interest. So people are like, oh, what if people runs away with your money? What if people won't pay back your money? What if it is true? All those factors can happen. But again, I was like, what if these people, what if I think on the other way around? What if these people manage to give me back my money? Let's say if I give you a thousand bob, you give me back with 150 shillings on top. So if I can be able to loan my 3,000 to someone, then I'm definitely entitled for 450 shillings at the end of the month, or rather at the end of the week. So if I can manage to have like 15,000, divide 15,000, divide by 3,000, I have like five people. So five times 450 shillings, you do the math. It's more than... You know, it's a good money, I should say. So the question is this. It all depends on what drives you. If it's the fear of making money, or rather it's the, if it's the fear of losing money, then it can be very hard for you. Because the moment you open your business, you realize that it doesn't turn out to be exactly the way you plan. Let's say you've invested your 100,000 Kenyan shillings somewhere. And then you're waiting for your customers. Maybe you did plan that, okay, a day you should be making, let's say, maybe 800 or 1,000 per day. And then you realize the first day you make 200. You make 150 shillings. The second day, the third day, the fourth, the first week, you even, you've not even hit your target. It is not even working. And then all of a sudden you start panicking. Like, wow, I'm losing my money. I'm losing everything. I'm going to go back to square one. All right? So if you kind of have an individual who is driven by that kind of a fear, then you should know exactly where to invest. And I always tell people, the moment you want to invest, you should always consider these three things. Number one, what do you know? You can invest on what you know, because if you invest on what you know, it will be very simple for you. Number two, you can invest on your talent, right? Something that you just have a prowess of. You, you, maybe you say you can, um, uh, well, I, I was about to say you can run, but then I was like, how can you invest on running? Let's say you've got a talent. Maybe you can knit. There are people who can knit very well. Maybe you can invest on that because it's something that you already know it, right? Even though it doesn't turn out to be positive as you planned, it also makes you happy. And number three, you can invest on your hobby. Something like you love doing, all right? You, you just love doing. Some people, so, so a certain guy was telling me I want to buy some mascot and clown and entertain kids because I love being with kids. Even if it doesn't turn out to be positive, at the end of the day, you are happy. All right, it's always good to make sure that you're sure of what you want to invest. So in my channel, I talk about investment. I talk about money. I talk about progress, self-development and such. So once you subscribe to my channel, you are entitled to getting evergreen content on my channel. My name is Joseph. 
and i love you very much for considering to subscribe to my channel give this the video a thumbs up that gives me morale to make more of these and goodbye